what you see on your screen is mixture of agent before i describe this diagram let me give you a bit of background as what exactly we are looking at large language models perform better on many tasks when given space to think lot of research has already shown that the techniques like chain of thought and tree of thought both of which inspired this diagram has performed quite well in most of the scenarios it is quite possible that in some cases to improve models performance by dedicating more resources at inference time always works but still if you adopt a concrete approach like this which you can see on your screen there is always a good chance that you will get more quality oriented response the screen which you are looking at is showing you that how a user requests a chat completion then a first prompt from the model calls a base llm with user prompt from the green box and then three candidates so basically prompt 1 is generating three candidate completions in parallel by calling the chosen base model with n is equal to 3 and a high temperature to promote output diversity and then you see there are three candidate responses from there there is a prompt 2 that again calls the base model and it passes in the original input again along with the three candidate completions generated by prompt 1 it then asks the llm to review the candidate completions and critique them and then there is prompt 3 that again passes the original input the three candidate completions and their critiques using this information the base model generates the final completion that incorporates the best of all three candidates and this is the whole flow so what is happening here is that this company open pipe has come up with few mixture of agent model which are using this technique to provide you a better response which is more quality oriented and which is more grounded so what they have done is that they have released a new family of mixture of agent models optimized for generating synthetic training data using their mixture of agent or moa architecture they have achieved state of the art results on both lmsys arena hard auto and the score is around 84.8 and also they have done well on alpaca eval and they have provided this benchmarking information on their website to which i will drop the link in video description and you can see at the very top banner they have described that in the blog post they have also um, performed quite well with gpt4 and cloud 3 opus and they have used cloud 3 opus as a judge by the way and then they have experimented with fine tuning smaller llama 3 models on synthetic data generated by this mixture of agents and they found out that fine tuned llama 3 70 billion outperforms gpt4 on 4 by 4 tasks and even the much smaller fine tuned llama 3 8 billion outperforms gpt4 on 3 by 4 tasks now this is where i am a bit confused because this seems like comparing apple to oranges doesn't really make sense to me but anyway i have you can also check it out and see what if it makes sense to you but all in all i'm quite intrigued by this approach and this is the reason why i created this video because this technique is quite simple you can even build it with any model out there even if you are using open source model closed source model so just suppose you're implementing a rag pipeline with any model with any tool i'm not going into any tool at the moment so with that rag so users ask a question you do a similarity search your own your own data and then from that prompt one maybe you create three candidate responses from your own data with the help of any model which you are using once that comes along you pick up user's original prompt one response th three candidates you give it to a separate a judge llm uh maybe cloud 3 opus or any even any other open source one running on olam or wherever and then you get a final response on the basis of this prompt 2 and critique and then you out of those you generate a final response you so primarily you are giving more options more space to llm you are maybe incorporating more diverse llms just to make sure you have second pair of eyes from llm and then you are um quite sure that whatever the final response is it is of very very high quality and you can build it with 
easily in python in any code you just have to loop through it you just have to create a feedback loop and that's about it and i think that is where they have done well to share this easy to understand uh, diagram now just to show you if you want to do something with this open pipe uh, this primarily seems like some fine tuning website with a paid option where you can do the fine tuning of your production apps and rate seems like they say that um, you can train faster cheaper models i haven't used it so i'm not sure but seems like quite good to me and then uh, so if you go to open pipe here you will see that once you sign up you get some of the project api keys i'm going to uh, rotate it so don't try to use my keys here also then um, once that happens one thing i'm not really happy about it is that if you want to use gpt4 you would have to add your own apis open ai's api key here i don't want to give my open ai's api key to any other third party website especially when they are quite new and we really don't know who they are so that is where i don't think so i will be using it um, with my open ai's api key so that is one thing i think they need to improve maybe a environment variable through sdk where i could set if there is already an option i didn't check uh, but as far as i could see i couldn't find anything because the only way to use their mixture of agent uh, model is two ways first is that you can call their open ai compatible chat completion endpoint but for that you would have to create this um, open by project and then you would need to set your open ai's api key Secondly, you can use them as a relabeling model. If you have an existing data set or tracking one via open pipe, you can relabel it using a mixture of agent model for a much stronger data set. But all in all, I really like the way they have put it in. I might be exploring them further down the road, but for me, the real attraction is this. And I think this is very, very handy and useful. And I think this could add real value to the real scenarios. If you are using anything like that or chain of thought, please share your opinion or if you're already using open pipe, also share your experience with it. I would be very keen to know more about this project because it seems like a good option. And because for this result, they not only use the LLM as a judge, but also they selected a subset of 32 samples from their benchmark and evenly they split between samples where the LLM judge preferred MOA and those where it preferred GPT-4 Turbo. But as it is closed source, we don't have any source code. We can't download it and um, check it independently. So you would have to take their word for it. Anyway, that's it, guys. I will drop the link to their um, website in video description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thanks for watching.